Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to share with you part two of my um, Colour by Number uh, book collection. Um, so I'll link part one um, up here maybe. Oh, I might not remember to do that. I'm going to do my best because I it's not something that I use very often and I need to practice. So... Uh, I will link part one up here. Um, <laughs> so, first of all, I have got uh, Courage Mysteries, Disney, Trump, Lowell. Yeah. So this is by Hache Heroes. Um, this is the one where you think you're going to colour one thing and it ends up being something else quite a good sized book I think it's A4 um, I'm just colouring this in order and you get like a hundred pages in here so these lines that you're seeing that's not who you're going to be colouring you're going to be colouring something completely different So I'm not going to do a full flip of this because that's not what you're colouring. These are the pictures that you get in. So yeah, that's a really nice book. And as you can see, it is super thick. Uh, so that is Clarage, Mr. Disney, Trump, Le... Well... Uh, Hache Heroes. I don't speak French, so... That was never going to sound like somebody that knows French. Okay, so next I've got this range of Colour by Number books. So these are by Arcturus. Um, and they're by different artists and there's a range of them. Um, mine are stored in uh, Rainbow Order. So, I really like these books. They're not that expensive. The pictures are really nice. So you get completed pages at the front and also at the, uh, the back. They are single-sided, so you can use whatever medium you like. But they're really um, pretty pictures, quite detailed. I'm not rotating today, guys. I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> if you can hear noise in the background, it's probably my husband. He's grouting the kitchen. That's what he had the urge to do today. So today is um, Bank Holiday Monday. It's May Day, um, which um, is an old pagan festival. Um, it's a fire festival bringing the sun into our hearths, um, celebrating spring and, you know, all the, all the plants and the animals growing again, um, and it, it was originally called Beltane. So that's how my husband is spending Bank Holiday Monday, grouting the kitchen. 
and I'm just trying to get my video in done for the week. So as you can see, you get quite a lot of pictures, more completed pages, and then you get your um, colour palette on this fold-out bit, so it stays on show even when the book's closed. So this is nice. So this one is um, Nature, and it's by Duncan Smith. Smudge, you're rocking everything, and now you're just in the way. Sweetie pie, I need you to move, honey bunny. I know. Come on, move your little body. Good girl. Okay, so next I've got Mindfulness. Um, by uh, David Woodruff, which is spelt like that. Okay, so it's the same um, series, even though this is by Sirius. But Sirius is part of Arcturus, so yeah, it's all the same thing. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, I might need to do that soon because that looks amazing. I might speed colour that on camera, can you imagine? It would just be incredible, wouldn't it? Be difficult though because I'd need to get my head right in there to see the numbers. So it'd be difficult to record. Real crazy mix of pictures in this one. Hmm, the Queen. I'm not laughing at the Queen, I'm laughing that she was in the book. Quite a few mandalas in this one as well as pictures and patterns. How many pages you get in this? Does it say? I'll have to count one of them. Okay, so then I've got Happiness by Arpad Olby. Just looking to see if it said how many pages. Look at all these sheep bouncing around. I really would recommend these books. The paper, I mean, it isn't super thick, but you can't see the image through it. Spaces are a bit bigger in this one. Sorry, I had slid off screen. Oh, 
I own quite a lot of these books and I really need to stop buying them but they're just they're so good and they're not super expensive I'm still just looking to see if it tells you how many pictures you get. Okay, so that was happiness. Sorry, messing my piles up. Okay, anti stress by David Woodruff. So this one's got quite a few patterns in it as well as pictures. doing a lot of flip throughs at the moment guys because I am super behind doing my flip throughs so I'm just trying to <laughs> so if you see a load of fit flip throughs coming up don't feel that you have to watch <laughs> um, I'm just trying to catch up on last month to be honest Another detailed pattern. They just look so stunning when they're finished. Ooh. <laughs> so that is that one. Okay, so that was anti stress. Uh, this one is calm. I think this is my oldest one. We'll soon find out if I've got billions of pages coloured. <laughs> billions. Yeah, right. Uh, so, sorry, this is calm by David Woodruff. So, I get these off Amazon I also get them from seen them in the works before I've seen them in charity shops oh wow It's about how you're getting a mixture of things. Oh, another jigsaw one, amazing. And a flying duck. Oh, how good is this book? Jigsaws, flying ducks. What else did I see that I was like, this is great. Lots of patterns. A kitty. Oh, that looks like and I think it's this one no because I've just gone back mm. so confused They also include like um, actual paintings in them, so there's those as well. So that was Calm, Colour by Numbers, David Woodruff, Woodruff again. Okay, Enchanted World, I haven't done anything this one, this one is quite new to my collection. Is this the one that's only just come out? So it's by Natalie Ortega and Sarah... 
Storino. Um, yeah, this is a new one, came out in 2020. So this has got um, fairies and things in it, but then real things as well. So like appreciating the natural world, look at this, uh, and then it's got some fantasy things in too. Oh, sheep and rainbow is beautiful. Lines are a bit darker on this one, aren't they? You can see them easier on the screen. Under the sea, love that. Unicorns, love that. A lot of like secret garden type pictures, castles under the sea, and like I say they look so pretty when they're finished. Oh space. I love space. <laughs> there must be like 50 pictures in these. Okay, so that is Enchanted World, Colour by Number. Our Beautiful World, Colour by Numbers by David Woodruff. You can now hear Smudge playing with a toy. When was this one published? 2019. This one's quite new as well. It's new to me. See, this one's a lot more detailed. But the thing to remember is, you don't have to do it all in one sitting. I would recommend doing all of one colour. So if you're going to come back, you haven't got to try and match your colour again. Um, I mean, you can always write it down, of course. But, like, you can do a bit, come back, do a bit, come back. These are really nice to do with like fine liners and things like that. Sheep. A lot of mountain scenes in here. Looks like Machu Picchu. Yep, really nice. So that's Our Beautiful World by David Woodruff. Okay, last one in this series then, I'm sure you're all pleased to hear, is Flowers by Elsa Lennox. Okay. So this, this is 2020, so this is a super new one as well. Lots of different flowers and flowery scenes. 
so you've got some that focus on the flowers, some that are like a garden statue. I like the ones that look like somebody's greenhouse or something, like somebody is a gardener and you've just taken a snapshot of their workspace. Beautiful bench. So some of these are detailed and some of them are less so. Like this one, quite big spaces. But then look at this one. <laughs> Wellies. So yeah, I really would recommend these books. Um, they're really nice. Um, and they are quite popular. So there you go. $6.99. I don't think I've ever paid $6.99 for one of them. You can get them cheaper out there. So that was flowers. Okay, so this is just the rest of my Club by Number collection now. So this is Pixel Museum World Famous Art um, by Smartistic Vision. And it's literally this sort of thing with the palette. Uh, let me find, I have done one, I did a super simple one. And it tells you at the back what everything is and what it's called. Shout when you see some colour. Here we go. So I did this. I just wanted to do a really easy one to break into the book. So this is Broadway Boogie Woogie by Pierre Mondrian. Okay. So that's Pixel Museum World Famous R. Okay. Then I've got Buster's Brilliant Colour by Numbers. So this is a Buster Activity book. This is super cute and nice and simple. It is double sided though. Um, but the paper's quite thick, so it does take um, watercolour pens really well. And these are just nice, simple cute pictures and obviously the colour palette is tiny so really easy Some of them got black backgrounds as well, which is nice. So they super stand out. <laughs> Crazy monsters. Okay, so that is Buster's Brilliant Colour by Number. Okay, and then this is uh, again by Buster Activity. Beautiful copycat colouring. So this one, you get a coloured one and you copy it. So this is a bit of a bigger book. Of course you don't have to copy it, you can do your own uh, colour scheme and then just compare them. Baby Smudge, I'm trying to turn the pages. <laughs> Um, so it's like colour by number, so I've put it with my colour by number books, but um, I suppose it's a bit like colour by colour. <laughs> so there's one that I've done. Didn't match the colours precisely, but it doesn't matter. I just went with blue is blue, light pink is light pink. Again, cute pictures. Smudge your bum is making a shadow. 
So that is Beautiful Copycat Colouring by Buster Activity. Okay, so the last two books that I've got are um, Jade Summer. Um, so I've got Colour by Number Mandalas. Um, so the only problem with this is that the colour chart's at the back, but you'll see in my other one uh, I've ripped the page out and I just take it round with me. So some of these have got really nice colour schemes and some of them are a bit weird. Um, and they do tend to have quite a few colours in them. Um, nice mandalas though. On the back here you do get the colour chart actually, I'd forgotten that. Um, but it isn't... It's all the colours, not the colours that you need in this particular mandala. But these are nice, different shaped mandalas. Um, you know, different designs. And styles, nice thick lines, so you can easily use marker pens with these. On Amazon printed paper as usual um, and then obviously black on the back. So that's your colour chart on the back cover there, so you can see what colours they're actually thinking of. Uh, but there's nothing groundbreaking. Um, you know, dark orange is a dark orange. Um, but yeah, so there's four yellows, four oranges. Um, blues and purples just go on and on. <laughs> so there's quite a few there. So that's Colour by Number Mandalas by Jade Summer. And then I've got colour by number uh, patterns. So as you can see, where I'd matched up my colours, uh, I just ripped the page out so that I'd got it. Uh, the colour chart is the same for this one and the, and the mandala one. They are the same colour charts. That is quite handy. <clears throat> so in here you're getting geometric, floral, uh, swirly, some more detailed, um, some more simple, still with the nice thick lines, so they're good with the mark pens. So again, really good mix of um, patterns going on in here. And again, your colour charts at the back. These ones make me think, literally pick your own colours. Because it doesn't say on what colour it is. So if you didn't like the palette, you could just do your own. So that's quite cool. So that's colour by number patterns. So that is my uh, entire colour by number um, collection. Um, my Creative Haven books you've already seen and my George Two Fexes collection you've already seen. So if you're interested in those, um, then do check out the um, 
flip through playlist and the um, my colouring book collection playlist which I will link above or below one of them maybe both wow that would be amazing okay so if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up uh, baby smudge will be disappointed if you don't give it a thumbs up you're on camera smudgy uh, so please do give it a thumbs up and um, if you haven't already please do subscribe um, smudgy would like some more subscribers please yeah okay everyone we will see you in the next one i'm not sure what i'm going to flip next so we will see won't we clever girl aren't you mummy's clever girl little peers okay we will see you in the next video everyone bye